16 year old Lizette Mata was among, is among Chicago, the latest Chicago gunshot victims. She was killed Thursday night in Gage Park. We're learning she was shot while trying to help someone else, and she was also three months pregnant. CBS 2's Marissa Parra shows her story and the toll the pandemic is taking on young lives. Grief washes over Lenora Martinez in waves. Uh, I'm sorry. She talks about 16 year old Lisette Mata as if she's still here. Reality takes time to sink in. It broke our heart like we couldn't help but, but cry. This is the conversation we, we dread. This time, the news they dread is about the little girl they used to see on the playground, the shy but loving Lisette who they watched grow into a young woman. Days ago, the teen was walking in an alley in Gage Park when a group of men started beating up her boyfriend. While she tried to help, she was shot and killed. It's just like one thing after another and then just also feeling like helpless to a certain extent, right? Because we could only do so much. Vanessa Saucedo and Martinez aren't family, but they might as well be. They're teachers and to be a teacher is to love like family and to worry like family. The reality for many of our of our students, you never really know. That's the heartbreaking part. These days, there's more to worry about and less ways to cope. It could be gang violence, it could be mental health. We've had several families that have lost loved ones during this time as well with COVID. We're like on edge because even though physically we don't see our students, we still worry about them. Especially those who teach in neighborhoods where resources are low and violence is high. No matter how much people get used to hearing news like this, you know, especially um, about our young people and in our communities. Like, you don't get used to it. There is now a $1,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest or conviction in this case. Police still searching for the culprits behind the death of the pregnant teen. Reporting from the 9th District, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News. Mata's funeral is scheduled for Friday.